hey i was serious about the uh e-bike sponsorship <laughs> kind of sort of not really but yeah <laughs> oh man good morning or afternoon wherever you're watching from trail freak here i'm coming at you from ride birmingham man that climb <laughs> apparently they run in shuttles on saturdays and today sunday so i miss shuttle day ah kicking myself for that one but i was busy yesterday couldn't make it but anyway i'm here today my goal is to get at least five laps in i don't know if that will happen because that first climb up here maybe after my legs get warmed up i might be able to do it but man i'm so my legs are so weak now I'm not riding as much as I, I need to be so and uh I'm slowly trying to get back into it I, my goal is to ride every weekend that I can and so far this is be my third weekend in a row first two times with Jared's so there wasn't a whole lot of climbing in that you know except to the shuttle and uh I did Jared's twice and my legs were feeling it even trying to maintain some good riding you know my legs whew, you know downhill get you that's what I'm trying to say and I'm not in that good of a shape to be doing this right now <laughs> Where was I? I think I was uh, complaining about being unhealthy and fat or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I just did a couple little runs on the uh, jump line up here at the top. That first jump, I can't get from the reason. That second one is pretty awesome. It's, it's perfect. So uh, That's one one reason I'm here today is I want to work on my jumps. And I'm not a very good jumper like at Jared's. I know uh, double wide back when I was doing some racing in a little bit better shape I could almost clear everything on uh, double wide almost there was a couple that I, I was that scared me like a couple gap jumps anyway so my goal is like I said get five laps today after just doing that I don't know <laughs> it's gonna be tough but like I, said, I got all day it's early in the morning so I take breaks when I need to and uh, I know y'all don't want to hear me rambling. I just want to say I'm trying to get back to where I used to be. So I gained like 260 something pounds in the last the uh, couple years. I just it just I kept gaining, kept riding less, and uh, now I'm back to trying to ride more, and my weight's coming back down. So I'm down under 250 now. So that's great. And I want to get back to 230 and under. My goal is 200. My, my goal has always been 200. And the closest I got to that was 230. And I was in pretty decent shape. But right now, I know my last Go Nuts race was out here at Ride Birmingham. And my legs, I just, that climb. It, my leg, I felt weak. You know, my legs were pretty, they're not as strong as they used to be. Because I'm, I don't ride as much anymore. But when they were strong... You know, I could ride forever, it seemed like. But now, just like the blood flow in my legs ain't doing what it's supposed to be doing. And I'm getting back to that to do that, hopefully. And uh, that's why I'm out here today, is to get back in shape. Because Go Nuts is doing another race out here, September. I want to come do that and see where September is like right around the corner. And I'm hoping to be in good enough shape where... I could climb without stopping but yeah I'm mostly hiking so I mean it's not a long hike up here but it's just you want to be able to ride it and that's what I'm trying to do so my main focus today will be on a uh, Canuga jump line punch and drift enduro style trail and okay boomer another enduro style trail um, punch and drift is a black and okay boomer is a blue i think 
I think so. Uh, Boomer is really short, so I might not do that too much. It ain't just a little bit of steep off camber run. It ain't. It's all right, but yeah, main focus would be those three trails. So that means I'll probably do them once. <laughs> Can't be too tired to do the rest of them, but uh, you know, I at least want to get two runs on uh, Canoga and the rest on those trails. So we'll see if I get five. And if you see five runs, then I got five trails. And, uh, man, I'm trying. I'm trying to get back. I know y'all tired of hearing me ramble on about crap, but let's get to riding. All right, this first run down is going to be Canuga. I'm trying my chin mount again. I, I'm still not too sure about chin mounts. I like my chest mount, but I'm going to try this run. hope I got the in the uh, right orientation there. For some reason I can't get that jump. And this one's an easy jump. But yeah, I haven't been down this trail in a pretty good while. I don't know if there's anything changed. Oh, <laughs> still. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think that's the one right there I always miss. Alright, so far so good except for that very first one. Oh, tire went up my ass. Oh, oh, didn't get that one. Oh, didn't get that one. Alright. Barely got that one. See if I can get to step up. Ooh, barely got to step up. <laughs> All right. Whew, okay. There's a couple I didn't get there. A little bit of a, a couple more runs, and I should have that one. Canoga so dang fun. But I don't get to do it as often as I like. Hey, anybody want to donate an e-bike? I would definitely appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, let's start walking back up to the top. All right, we're talking. <laughs> hey, I was serious about the uh, e-bike sponsorship. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Not really, but yeah. <laughs> Man, e-bike would help me a lot getting trained up, so... Send me an e-bike. Man, it's tough. It's tough when you're out of shape. And uh end of this year, two months. It's less than two months. It'll be I'll be 50. I know age is not an excuse for being out of shape. There's guys older than me that's freaking killing it. They'd they do two laps out here before I could even do one. So that's no excuse. But uh I'm gonna get back to walk. <laughs> Whoo! Awesome. Let's go down. Okay, Boomer. Try to find my clips. I don't remember that tree being so close. Yeah, it's just a. Kind of loose, but the dirt is pretty nice. Oh, we'll drop out. Whoa! Loose. So yeah, that was pretty short. So I'm going to go back, get me something to drink. Maybe something to snack on. <clears throat> Alright, punch and drift. 
I do not remember. Can't remember the last time I rode this trail. So, just gonna make it easy. Ooh. Yeah, that little first little drop into that berm. I never, I've always been too scared to hit that for some reason. Duh. That diving board looking rock jump, I've never hit that either. It looks scary coming up to it, but I watch people do it, it don't look that bad, but one day I hit it. Mm, nice long walk back to the top. All right, about to do local flow into upper Eureka, into Berm, Enham. So this will be my third run so no this is my let's see fourth run Been a long time since I've been on this trail too. Huh. Oh, oh shit! Ugh. A little hot, a little hot. Caught me off guard there. Yeah, I ain't gonna be able to hit hardly any of these. Cause that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, my. All right. Yeah. I forgot how lippy some of those were. Almost thought I was going to land flat on one. <laughs> Ooh, and that wore me out, too. That's one. I'd like to try to do that again, but I don't know. All right, here's Birmingham. I know this thing being on my chin mount, you're catching all my damn heavy breathing. Yeah, Birmingham is just a bunch of berms, and these things will wear you out too. And it looks like it's going to be loose. Too bad. Oh, I can never catch that one right either, or this one. All right, got that one. Got that one. Got it. Oh, I didn't get that one. Whoo. What? I don't even know what happened right there. Huh, okay. Whew. Yeah. 
Now I see why I used to wear hip pads all the time. Oh, I definitely need a hip pad. Dang, broke my chest mount off. So, dang. I don't know what happened. <laughs> dang. Oh, chin mount's all messed up. Dang. Yeah, I have no idea what happened right there. It was going good. And the boys are wonky. Maybe they maybe they got loose and that's what happened. I don't know. That was weird. moly man I don't know what happened on that last little uh, run there not until I watch the video back but my best guess is on that last little jump it jumped into a berm and I didn't compensate for landing into the berm and I landed flat and it just my wheel washed out I'm thinking that's what happened but it knocked the crap out of me it messed up Tweaked my bars. My seat is even uh, tweaked over. I gotta line that back up. This will help to hit the rail. Oh. Dang. But yeah, man, just that goes to show you, you can just happen out of nowhere. You can just crash out of nowhere. Felt like I was in pretty good control with them. Those two jumps before that one was pretty much perfect then I guess either I got a little too cocky or I just didn't judge the landing right which I don't think I judged the landing right so man scraped me up pretty good cracked my phone I have my phone right here and I usually wear hip padding I wish I would have wore hip padding today but man I just don't understand what happened Now I'm flustered. <laughs> like, I kind of pride myself on not crashing a lot. That's the first time I had a hard crash like that in a while. I landed pretty hard. Like I said, my hips hurting where I landed on it. Because I landed on my phone, cracked my phone. But I'm going to do a few more. I think I got enough energy to do hopefully a few more. I might only get uh, two more. But if I get two more, that's more than my goal of five. That'd be six runs. Well, be six and a well, I didn't make it all the way down. Well, technically, I made it all the way down. I just didn't uh, make it all the way down uh, gracefully, I guess you would say. Alright. Alright, I'm about to head back up. Get hydrated. It is pretty warm out here today, so I gotta stay hydrated. Alright, let's see if I can get a little bit of redemption on uh, 
at Birmingham. Never get enough speed for these two. Or this one. <laughs> Loose burns, loose burns. See if I can get that shuttle real quick. Whew. Whew. Good luck. Yeah, I didn't crash that time. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take over 50 minutes. <laughs> started running the shuttle <laughs> I was about to call it quits and now I can give me a few more runs in so that's awesome not very many though I'm I'm extremely tired right now I don't need to be riding really tired that's where you make all your mistakes so a few more yeah I'm laid out in the shade I'm extremely wore out Got a couple more runs in. They started doing the shuttle. There are a few more people here. Not a whole lot of people here today. But yeah, I'm I'm beat. So I'm taking a little break in the shade, laying down. And I came up here to look at these. Uh, they got a new, couple new jump lines. Like I say, they're like dirt jumper BMX style jump lines. Uh, they're steep lips, short landings. You no, know, they're like. Feels like you want to straight back up, straight back down type of thing. Let's see. Get it. All right. Looks like you got the green, blue, and a black. That's what it looks like. That green. I, I don't think I could do it. But, uh, new jump line at Ride Birmingham. I don't even know when they built it. It wasn't here last time I was here. So, all right. I'm signing out. I'm going to take a nap, I think. So. Just ride, man. See you next time.